Information technology in Pakistan is a growing and rising, which has the potential to expand even more in the future. Matters relating to the IT industry are overseen and regulated by the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting of the Government of Pakistan. The IT industry is regarded as a successful sector of Pakistan economically, even during financial crisis. The first IT policy and implementation strategy was approved under the leadership of Prof. Atayur Rahman FRS, then Federal Minister of Science and Technology, in August 2000 which laid the foundations of the development of this sector. In 2001, a 15-year tax holiday was approved to promote the IT industry which has the grown from $30 million to over $3 billion during the last 16 years. A nationwide program to train teachers was initiated by Intel in March 2002 in Pakistan on the request of Prof. Atayur Rahman which has resulted in the training of 220,000 teachers across 70 districts at no cost to the government. The government of Pakistan has given incentives to IT investors in the country during the last decade, this resulted in the development of the IT sector. From 2003 to 2005, the country's IT exports saw a rise of about 50% and amounted a total of about US$48.5 million. The World Economic Forum, assessing the development of information and communication technology in the country ranked Pakistan 111th among 144 countries in the Global Information Technology Report of 2014. As of 2011, Pakistan has over 20 million Internet users and is ranked as one of the top countries that have registered a high growth rate in Internet penetration. Overall, it has the 27th largest population of Internet users in the world. In the fiscal year 2012-2013, the government of Pakistan aims to spend 4.6 billion rupees on information technology projects with emphasis on e-government, human resource and infrastructure development. Topic e-government The government of Pakistan has attached great importance to information technology as part of its efforts to develop an information age in the country. In this regard, an elaborate national IT policy was formulated under the leadership of Prof. Atayur Rahman FRS in 2000, then Federal Minister of Science and Technology. Through a focus on the technological development of information technology, the government aims to increase productivity in the public sector, improve the standards of IT infrastructure in the country and use it as a management tool for the promotion of good governance in general. There has been remarkable progress in creating effective computerized e-government systems in Pakistan for major departments such as police, law enforcement agencies and district administration. The National Database and Registration Authority has also introduced computerized registration systems for issuing important documents such as national identity cards, passports, and permanent residency cards. IT has also been critically important in improving work procedures of the civil service and other government related fields. According to a study published by the UN Economic and Social Commission for Asia and the Pacific, Pakistan has been highly exposed to information technology while pursuing the concepts of e governance and e commerce. Pakistan's communication system is also reliable. This has now fully graduated into the email, Internet and IT culture purse. The country is fast exploring the brave new world of information technology and keenly assimilating the requirements of e-government and e-commerce. Information technology has opened a new business frontier for Pakistan. The government is assigning high priority to information technology both in terms of policy limelight and resource allocation. Topic local language computing In 1994, an Indian software company Concept Software Private Limited, one led by Rarendra Singh and Vijay Gupta, with the collaboration of a UK company called Multilingual Solutions led by Kamran Ruhi, developed InPage Urdu for Pakistan's newspaper industry. Urdu <inaudible> 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 The Center for Research in Urdu Language Processing conducts research and development in linguistic and computational aspects of Urdu, as well as other languages of Pakistan, in areas such as speech processing, computational linguistics and script processing. Sindhi 
Sindhi has also been digitized to make it easier to publish Sindhi newspapers, magazines and books. InPage also offers support for Sindhi with the proper fonts and ligatures which makes it easier for people to type in the Sindhi language without any difficulty. <laughs> Software development in Pakistan Software development is a rapidly growing field in Pakistan. The government has initiated numerous programs to encourage software development and exports. Pakistani IT companies have begun developing software for use in different types of businesses and services. Locally made software packages are available for implementation in schools, hospitals, supermarkets, and other businesses at low cost. Large control systems such as ERPs are also developed for use in large organizations which manufacture textiles, pharmaceuticals, food and beverages, etc. Also, the increasing use of Android smartphones, tablets and Apple iPads has given a great boost to the mobile applications development industry. Experts can easily develop these applications at home, with very low capital investment, as a personal computer and an Internet connection are the only things required to begin. Educational institutes have also begun offering diplomas and short courses in software and applications development for young people. See also Arfa Karim Technology Park Supercomputing in Pakistan Science and Technology of Pakistan Higher Education Commission of Pakistan Communications in Pakistan Internet in Pakistan OneApple, first IT industry in Pakistan <laughs>